on Designer to the Stars. Kristen Bell, star of Veronica Mars, <laughs> nice. gets crazy in her new backyard. So it's nice. nice. Do you like it? Oh, I love it. Maddie and Lucy, take me shopping in Beverly Hills. I'm glad that I bought that spoon. That $29 was pretty quick. And I fall for a professional hockey player. Oh, <laughs> I'm Carrie Whitman. My life's a little bit crazy. I'm completely nuts. Can you take your shirt off and stand against the wall? Uh, I've been an actress. I've dated celebrities. What was I thinking? I am so over it. Now, I'm an interior designer. Most of my clients are famous. I didn't plan it that way. It just kind of worked that way. I'm definitely very difficult to work for sometimes. I don't know what the hell he's talking. He's full of sh I've been engaged one, two, three times. <laughs> Dogs are a huge passion of mine. So I started a dog rescue foundation. It's all a little bit crazy. I am an interior designer and a dog rescuer. My life is nuts. And I wouldn't have it any other way. So I'm at Kristen Bell's house, the star of Veronica Mars. And I'm checking in because I get to see if the guys are working. And if they're not, I'm going to crack some whips. Hey, that's not yellow. It's Kokomo Gold. That's not yellow. It's not Kokomo Gold. It looks pink. So I pulled up today with this huge truckload of slate that they had to load on with the forklift because it's so big. Pull up, Carrie's like, it's the wrong color. Yeah, Kokomo Gold, 24 by 24 by half. I, mean, I don't mind that there's a Sandstone. little pink in it, but doesn't this look pink? I matched the invoice to the one that I got, and it's exactly the proper thing, but she's not too happy. I wanted it kind of more yellow. I think it'll work. I think it's a good match for the uh, exterior of the house. When I first got here, this yard was overgrown and had piles of dog shit. Now we pulled out all the grass, and it's a construction mess. Hey, guys. Johnny's not here, huh? No. Oh, OK. I don't know. There's, like, nobody here doing that much, so I'm kind of freaked out, so I'm trying to make it happen. Are what? you guys OK? You ha it's hot out here. No, it's OK for us. It's very hot out it's here. It's a nice weather water for us. And stuff? <laughs> no, it is OK. It's OK? Yeah. OK, I feel bad. You seem, I don't uh, want we, you to overheat on me. Actually, we're enjoying this climate. You do? <laughs> yeah. How can you enjoy this climate? It's well, too hot. I've been living in California for 22 years, so it's you're used to it. Yeah, I'm used to it, yeah. Yeah, OK. I like the snow. <laughs> I don't. I don't you know. <laughs> got a yeah. lot of lights going in those trees, Chris. I hope you know how to climb trees. I hope you got a little bit of that uh, adventure man in you. I'm climbing the tree? Yeah. Well, I mean, how do you expect me to climb the tree with? <laughs> That's what you're here for. It's not exactly fun looking or sounding or anything about climbing thorns, so. Oh, and they put all this electrical out here. They added more electrical. Does it have to be that high off the ground? If you see him, will you tell him to lower the box? I thought the plumber was supposed to be here to put all the plumbing in today. Uh... I just understood that you were going to be here today working, and this job has to be done in five days. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. He told me he told you what he needed to have done. Now you're telling me that you don't know what you need to have done? Hey, um, I talked to my plumber, and he said that there was some change or something, and he doesn't know what to do over here. I don't know what's going on. Um, I just don't know where the communication problem is. I guess because Hossein only speaks Farsi and Johnny speaks Spanish, maybe that's the issue. <laughs> Welcome to Los Angeles. Now I'm off to Smith & Hawkin to go shopping for some cool stuff. Oh. Lucy, you're all tangled up. Now you know you're not supposed to get tangled up in Beverly Hills. There's too many cool hip people here. <laughs> Carrie. Oh, nice to meet you, Evan. Nice to meet you. So you're going to help me here at Smith & Hawkins today? Yes. I need to get a bunch of stuff for an outdoor patio. Is this a poopsie doops box, like, you know, for outside? For dog uh, poopsie doops? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I can just look and get you one in a, in a box from the back, if you'd like. OK, yeah. That's a cute little hummingbird feeder, because we a bat house? If you'd want bats. Whoa, that's some serious shit. I'm not sure that's a, a pleasant <laughs> thing. They're boycotting squirrels in here. They have no squirrel paraphernalia. Sorry. Very upset about that. We want some up break, Carrie? No, it gives me a headache. Oh. Honey, what did you find over there? Did you, there are dog toys. Do you want one? What, do you want one of those toys? Oh. oh. OK, come on, she wants that spoon. Do you really want that spoon bad? OK, you can each have a spoon. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to buy this. Go for okay. it. Do you want that spoon? Do you want that spoon? There you go, honey. Take your spoon. I'm glad that I bought that spoon. I'm glad that that $29 was pretty quick. I'm a little nuts. 
It's all right. <laughs> hey, Johnny, what's going on? Like, is she going <gasps> like that? <gasps> yeah, she's got. She's having an inverted sneeze. It's okay. Dogs do that sometimes. She's just having some allergies with the with the spring. Whose spoon is that? That is my spoon. Give me that spoon, Madison. Give me that spoon. Give me that spoon. Like, right. suck it. You guys, what did you do with your spoons? You each got a spoon. They were thirty dollars. Where is your spoon? Do you have a spoon? What happened? Wait, she has her spoon. <laughs> That's her gift for coming shopping today. After that, I headed to Venice, where I had this kind of crazy idea. I think I'm going to buy a Segway. I think they're really cool. But because I live so close to Sunset and there's so much going on over there, and I hate driving my car up, and the girls, I think it'd be good to walk the girls on the Segway. Yeah, I bet they'd love it. You're going to pick up chicks on a Segway. Oh, one. yeah. I Trust me. Them. Major chicks. The newest ones are up in the front window, the different colors. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Baby girls, are you going to be able to handle it? So it's going to balance for you. And to go forward, you're just leaning, leaning your weight forward, yeah. slightly forward. Just... So just kind of point. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> you're doing it. Ooh, <laughs> watch out, Lucy. Ooh, look at Madison. She can't handle it. What's mommy doing? No! What's mommy doing? What's mommy doing? That was pretty good. I got it. Oops, sorry. I ran over the cone again. All right. Madison, look at Madison. Madison, do you want that cone? Maddie wants that cone. Madison, don't you hurt that cone. Don't worry, Warren. You're coming. You're going on next. I know that your, your hands are sweating because you want to do this so bad. I want to. I've never ridden one of these before, but um, as you can see, I'm already pretty good at it. <laughs> And yes, ladies, Warren is single. Is it bad if you get on one wheel? If you fall over, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Warren's doing awesome. I think he's getting the hang of it. Warren, why don't you see if they'll let you walk, walk them? You know, because I know that you're so goddamn lazy that you're not going to walk them far. And if I give you a segue, you're going to walk farther. Yeah. Look at this chick, man. I wish wow. my legs were that long. Only in Venice Beach. I think we should get one. I think it'll make me walk them more. And then you can stay inside the office and work more. Yeah, I'm trying to gain weight, too. I'm getting too much exercise. <laughs> yeah, sure you are. You're so full of He's so and sarcastic. All right, let's go. Let's go, guys. hockey. So does my friend Ann. So I made a few calls to get us a private hockey lesson from Anson Carter of the Vancouver Canucks. Hi. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Good. How are you, Anson? Nice Thank to you. meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I um, have a really good friend who's a hockey player, and I always see him play hockey, and he's always down on the ice. Well, you don't want to be down on the ice too often. You want to be on your feet. But... You want to be on... Oh, you don't want to be on the ice? <laughs> yeah. No. On the ice, it could be a little painful. I think I'm going to be on the ice. I have a feeling. <laughs> well, follow me. We'll take you inside the show me what to do? And I'll show oh you exactly God, what to do. Oh, my God. We're going inside. We're going in the locker room. Have you skated before? Um, I, um... Oh, my God. We get to go inside here. It's freezing. I would recommend hanging out in hockey arenas without hockey gear on. It's a little chilly. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe I didn't bring a big, huge jacket. <laughs> I personally enjoy the comfort of nice, thick, fluffy socks. So Do you I'm really? a thick sock kind of guy. Yeah, me too. I like the comfort of a nice, thick, fluffy jacket <laughs> at this point, too. <laughs> Look, I'm going backwards. Check this out. I did that in high school. <laughs> oh, you come back over here and put on a Oh, jeez. <laughs> My heart stopped when she fell. Put on weight. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was a good one. It was good to see she was a good sport. Oh. I got you. Yeah, I'm OK as long as I get helped up with two hot guys. The fact she got up was actually impressive, because in hockey, you're going to fall down all the time, just like life. See, hockey can be a dangerous sport. I have a permanent indent in my ass. So when you're shooting, you want to be in this position right here. Whoa! And you're just using leverage in your hips. Let me see if I can get one of these babies in the net. <laughs> I'm the goalie. Okay. So you guys are gonna try to score on me. Okay. Here oh. you go. There you go. I'm gonna try to get it in on you. Yeah. <laughs> shoot, shoot. 
Oh, oh. off the post. Ah, I think I'm better as a spectator. <laughs> Look at that. Yes. Yes. Right first shot on that. Almost a blue line shot. <laughs> that was impressive. So what do you feel about like the whole thing, like sex before a hockey game, sex not before a hockey game? <laughs> before? No. Never, never, never. The night before, never? Uh, night before. That's what I meant, night before. <laughs> before? I guess, I, I how many girls can you fit in your room? Yeah. Night before is okay, yeah. right? Night before, I guess you can, but um, day of the game, try to avoid that. I yeah. Most guys try Takes to a lot of energy that. out. Yeah, it's not good for your legs. I'm just curious how that works. <laughs> <laughs> not good for your legs. <laughs> what, you score? Yes. <laughs> Just you kidding. Score. <laughs> of course. All right, well, I did it. I'm officially in the NHL, at least in the locker room. Now I'm on my way to Kristen Bell's house to do some gardening. You look great. Thank are you. You're you ready to get dirty? I am going to get, I'm going to plant a little bit. Those are your planting clothes? That's right, baby. These are my planting yeah. clothes. This is my Mother Earth hippie. Uh -huh. Let's go back to Boulder, Colorado clothes. Hey, Verdell. <laughs> I didn't forget about you. <laughs> I brought the painting, too. Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah, let me see it. Awesome. Oh, that's cute, Verdell. Very cute. Uh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Very cute. Good job. You're awesome. Uh, I adore you. <laughs> okay, so let's so, talk about the, the tile, tile design. design. Let's do the tile design okay. first. This should be yellow. Yellow around the top? Okay. Yeah, yellow around the top. That's perfect. The yellow all the way around there. Some blue, eh? This tile is very cool. I think the actually. front should be blue. That blue is so beautiful. Damn, that blue is beautiful. Oh, you know what we could do on the bottom? We could do a checkerboard of the yellow and the blue. Oh, yeah. That's what we should That's do. That's very Let me retro, put... too, to kind of fit with what yeah, Kristen can we, likes. Can we do that? Do you mind? Nope. It's like playing with Legos. I can't believe I wore a skirt to this. What the f was I thinking? Can't wait to yeah, see you dig a hole. I need to see what they look like in the tree, you guys. There's spikes all the way up that thing. I didn't notice yeah. that. You know, the short ladder will get us past the spikes. I ain't doing this. Chris is going up the tree. I'm not going up the tree. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, I can't levitate. I know what we can do. Here you go. This will get you up there. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. <laughs> Working comps all filed, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Fridella's going to stencil an elaborate pattern for me on the porch. She has a couple choices for me to pick from. Did you, did you do a printout of what you... Yeah, did you I did. Out? This is the one of the green. So it's kind of like a khaki color in those striped colors. And then this is the other one. Do you think this is too kitschy? It's just... I'm just wondering, with everything going on here, it's just getting a little... It's a little too kitschy. I mean, you did a great job. I just think it's too... This is the people hangout area. Okay, take the dog stuff out of it. I think so. I think we should just do, like, a really cool just design. I it's going to take at least a day to cut the stencils. So you should get the whole thing done tomorrow, and then you're at Thana early Friday morning. Yeah. Get her early. That's okay. fine. OK. I'm a little worried. We've got, like, one day to get all this done. OK, so what do we need to do now? I need to plant I don't know if I want to get dirty now. You were informed to wear work clothes. Can I just put where I want them? No. You you called me the other day. I'm getting dirty, Johnny. <laughs> and I, I yeah. let a couple other guys have the day off. So I need you to plant. Okay, I can plant and a little bit. And you have your planting pants on. Kristen okay. likes the native grasses. Yeah, so. I know she wants native grass, so we should do the lavender. Let me lay them out first where I want them, and then I'll start help planting them. Ugh. She's getting dirty. Hey, shut up. I'm sending a picture of this to your mom. I'm getting mud all over myself. Oh, no. Oh, man. Hey, Johnny, I want that one over yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. This is Carrie's idea of planting. I want this I'm one. I'm getting dirty. This is California style gardening. We get our nails done, we do our hair, and then we garden. Shut up. Damn, why did I wear this skirt? Is that deep enough? Yeah, one more and you're good. It's hot. Oh, thanks, babe. Perfect. Uh oh. My pants were coming down. <laughs> All right. That's beautiful. Nice, huh? is almost done. All I need now are some really beautiful flowers. And for that, there's only one place to go. 
Downtown LA has the best flower mart. You can get really great prices on really amazing exotic flowers. You gotta get here early and I'm late, as usual. So I wanna find some stuff quickly before they close. Hi. Hi, Scott. Scott, nice Pleasure to meet you. Meet you. Yeah, welcome to the flower market. Thank you very much. Now, a lot of people have left already? Yes, it's it's late in the day. It's, because uh, usually, I'm late. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, usually about 3 or 4 in the morning people start coming down here. See, the cool thing about going to the flower mart is you can get orchids that are already open and they're not as desirable to others, but they look great for me when I'm presenting a room to somebody. So their half price, these are $11. I'm a flower whore. I love flowers. I don't want anybody buying from me. I want to buy them myself because I don't own anybody anything. Special. There's specials. Can we get in there? I want those. Come on, let us in. Let us in. I want those purple ones and they're gone because I'm late. I'm always late. Early bird gets the worm. I think I'm Superwoman and that I can do everything and I really can't. Oh, look at the peacock. Do they skin the peacocks for those? No, the peacocks actually shed these. They don't hurt the peacocks when no, they do that, not right? At all. Have a little peacock. Are you sure they don't hurt the peacocks to get these? I'm positive. Do they pull these out of the birds? Uh, no, those they also shed. There's no point in killing the birds because you just won't get any more feathers. The sea creatures that live in those shells? What about them? Well, well, let's know if we kill them. No, we don't kill anything here. One of your candies? Absolutely. You have lychee, which are really good. The pink ones. Lychee, is it a, is that one of that is it alive before you put it in candy? Uh we unfortunately we had to kill the lychee. Are you serious? Yeah, they were too clingy. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Kristen Bell's house now so I can get everything completely organized so she can see her backyard. Because she's gonna come home and I'm gonna make her wash her dogs. Because they're smelling. When I got to the house, there were a few things I wasn't happy with. Somebody can wash this all out so it's nice and clean. It needs to all be washed so it's wet. And where are the candles? There was a couple big, oh, they're in there. They're inside the poop box thing. What's the deal with this? It's, it looks really bad. Yeah, it's uh... Oof, that looks really bad. We're gonna... Is, are you gonna see that with all the, the Absolutely. bubbles and stuff? Absolutely. Well, we're gonna be washing in here. I mean, this is the whole thing, you okay. know? Okay, well, it, I... it can't be done now because it's gonna be wet. Wow. Okay. Let's have to make it work. I let my mason chisel away at the corner piece of the tile to make sure the drain integrity was kept intact. Carrie was real unhappy with it. It is a broken piece of tile in the middle of the thing, okay? Carrie, it's, I mean, I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. Carrie, you don't it, deserve to beat up like, on anyone, just, seriously. I'm not, I'm just telling you, this is, it looks ridiculous. You need to stop beating up on people in general. I'm not beating up on people. I can handle it, other people. Seriously, you're you know supposed what? to be when here I about the When I want Psychology light. 101, I'll call okay. you up. But right now, I don't need that. You're that looks like I'm light. sorry. Yeah, I mean, it's it's never easy when you've got different creative opinions involved. I'm happy with it. I'll put my name on it, you know, so that I can sleep tonight. This is Sadie's favorite place to lay, so we got her a doggy cooler bed. It keeps her cool because it gets really hot out there. It's like a doggy water bed, and it stays cold. It has some kind of material in there that keeps it that way. Kristen. Hey. Hi. You gotta come check this out. I can't wait to it's see so it. It's so cool. I mean, it's... <gasps> I love it. It's so beautiful. Let's get everybody out here. You wanna get the doggies out here? Come on. Well, come out here and see what's going on, because we're gonna have a little party. When we started, this backyard needed some help. Now it's a pooch-friendly paradise. I absolutely love how it turned out. Your backyard is complete. Yes, it is. Look what they you got. They have no idea. You so, got your doggy door. Did you like the doggy I door? I loved it. She actually went through on her own. She was the first she one that did? did it. Yeah. You got your doggy door with Shaky, Sadie, and Lola. Lola. I got you a, a poops de doops Oh my God, fantastic. So we don't have to carry it through the house to the, <laughs> to the garage. That's so nice. And, and look at this hammock. Isn't it amazing? It's gorgeous. I was like lounging in it this afternoon. I'm like, oh my God, I don't oh, want to get out it. of here. So this is for the little dogs just to like go in and hang out and do their little Shaky, thing. Shaky, this is your house. Shaky. Crazy. Yes. Come on, guys. Get your little house. Holy your man. House. Look at that. He's like, I don't know what's going She's on. Like, I... So then up here we have the furniture. 
Oh, it's nice. Do you like it? Oh, I love it. And it's like livable out here now. Like this makes me want to come outside. And then we have your bar. You stocked it with so much liquor. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> Everything is teak, so it's waterproof. Teak is a very durable outdoor wood. Those are for you to have margaritas, have a little Rita for your weekend. And your grill? <gasps> And a grill. Rotisserie, Rotisserie, everything. Yep. And I don't even eat meat, and I'm excited about the grill. These are for them when they're sunning themselves out. And then back there is her little water bed. So she can, I know she used to dig in the dirt back there. So um, I got this bed. It's an outdoor bed that stays cold. So she won't have the desire to dig in the dirt, so she can stay cold, small, medium, and large. Shaky Lola Sadie. All the planting. It's pretty cool, it's right? so beautiful. Johnny from Future Bloom did a great job. This is cotton candy lavender. You have to just... I'm oh, sorry. Oh, my I God. So then you have your double chaise lounge. This is like your area. This is your and David's area. Nice. You Kevin. can hang out. Kevin. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Or David. <laughs> I could have this area. David, too. David, Kevin, Bob, Jim. Don't worry about it. Any of them. <laughs> this is the best part of the whole backyard. This is the doggy outdoor hot and cold running dog bath. Look at these doggy towels. They go over the dog? What, you're going to die. You put your hands in like this, <gasps> and then you wash them. Are you going to help me wash them? Yeah. Sadie, come awesome. here. Awesome. Sadie, come here. She get over here. I have soap on a rope, God damn it, and I want to make it happen. Lather her up. Good girl, Sadie. Yes, little rub it, dub it, dub it, dub it. Honey, do you want to put your goggles on? Let's put the goggles on from Petaroo. Do you want some goggles? I'd love some goggles. Do you want some goggles? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. We're doggling. Nice. Doggling in the dog bath. And I think I want to come over here and have someone give me a bath. Mm -hmm. One tile over there I want to change in the. Uh, <laughs> there's a little tile over there that I want to change. That's a whole other story. Oh, okay. <laughs> My guy's going to come over there and fix that. Okay. But I want you to enjoy and have fun. Oh, I will. So uh, welcoming, which is exactly what I was looking for. Carrie brought so many functional ideas about where we'd want to sit, where we'd want to eat, and just playing with the dogs and keeping them cool. It, there were so many ideas I wouldn't have ever thought of. It's gorgeous. For more Designer to the Stars, check out we.tv.